This is what's under the bonnet. Here's the motor. It's a net gain warp 9 that I bought from Ziva Motors in Western Australia. Uh, Ziva is now with, uh, amalgamated with EV Works. I bought gear from there and they've been pretty good actually. Um, I'll just put this light down. Over here we have the adapter plate. This adapter plate goes between the motor and the gearbox. This is solid aluminium that's been machined. The plastic I've got on here is because in Australia we get these wasps that make um, nests on them and, and I don't want them to get into the motor while it's been sitting here for so long. Uh, down the bottom here we have, here's the plate, the mounting plate that bolts to the motor and it goes to the original engine mounts. Uh, I've also got this battery box. I've got an original one out of another car. I've uh, modified it and mounted it. Um, see where the mounts for the battery box is. These, these uh, bolts go right through the chassis rails. Where they go through the chassis rails, I've had to put a, a sleeve over the bolt so it cannot crush the box section. Um, you can't see the sleeve because it's within the, the box section. I've also got a front battery box. Um, it's made completely of aluminium. I'm only going to have one string of, of batteries in there. Um, well, they are solidly mounted. I've actually mounted where the radiator used to mount as well. And they've got mountings down at the bottom. Um, it seems to It'll keep it out of the way. When I do the um, air compressor, the, the, for, or the vacuum pump, should I say, vacuum pump and a tube, that, that'll probably go down through here. Um, that's what I've got so far. I do have a plate that goes from here right across, and I'm still working on that, which I'll put a few bits and pieces like controller and, and uh, converters and stuff. So there it is so far. I'll take another one once I've got the plate on.